Hi guys, how are we all doing? Um, sorry I've been absent for so long, uh, just life in general, crap in, in general really just taking over. Um, but I thought I'd start with something different. <coughs> um, bit of a vlog, blog, sort of building update talk sort of stuff. Um, anyway, let me get on to what it's about. Right, my first love in Wargaming has always been World War II, and this set of rules in particular. Rapid Fire by Colin Rumford and Richard Marsh. Now these have been around for years. This is actually the second edition rule book. Um, full colour. Nice colour pickies. Um, they're actually for big, big World War II battles. So Arnhem, uh, the Ardennes, the Blitzkrieg, Northwest Europe. Anything and everything you can think of. The Western Desert. Um, now then, before the advent of Bolt Action and uh, Flames of War, which is 15mm and 28mm, as you guys probably already know, there was only 20mm or 6mm. Now these rules are actually meant for 20mm scale miniatures. Um, and as well as the main rule book, which is this one here, they actually released a whole series of add-ons. So, units for Northwest Europe, Eastern Front, scenarios for the Eastern Front. This book's a few years old and falling to pieces, you'll probably see. Arnhem, D-Day, Northwest Europe scenarios, the Ardennes scenarios, um, and there's been a couple of books for the uh, North African campaign, uh, 41 to 43. Now then, what I really, well, each one of these scenario books is absolutely outstanding. So, this one's from the Battle of the Bulge, Ardennes. Gives you a brief history of the battle, what units were where, and then a TOE of... Um, this one's the Americans, so the tanks, infantry, planes and everything else that's involved. Oops, sorry guys. Um, special rules, and then the German forces. And then, it gives you a nice colour map to what your table should look like. Uh, most of these tables are 8 foot, or 5 foot. Um, as I say, they're all for 20mm. They can be scaled up to 28mm or scaled down to 15mm or even 6mm, um, depending on what scale and what, what rules you want to use. So those books are really, really nice. Again, all full colour. Well worth a look, even if you're just interested in the actual battles and campaigns rather than the rules. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was this fella. Operation Market Garden. Now, this time last year, myself and a friend of mine decided we were going to do the grand campaign from this book, um, which is quite large. Um, I'll tell you about all about that in a moment. But my idea is for my new series of videos is to work through the, the Orbat for the grand campaign. Um, I'm doing the German forces. And my War Games colleague is doing the British forces. Now, my idea is is to work through each one of these box sections, which are reinforcement groups for the Grand Campaign, um, and try and get one done a week. Now, this is obviously quite a, a lot of painting and stuff, um, but hopefully, I'll. I'll get it all uh, all done. Of course, it's kind of stalled a little bit at the moment, but I want to really want to get on with it. Um, so anyway, on to the grand campaign. Quite a big under undertaking. And this is the map. <laughs> it's on a 16 foot long by 6 foot wide table. Yeah, <laughs> it's a biggie. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will give me the impetus to get... How pretty does that look? This will give me the uh, the nudge that I need to get going on it. Um, 
but yeah, this this is the actual table. So sort of that line there. So you got Wolfie's, his dwarf, and there it just goes on. You got Oosterbeek, Hartenstein Hotel, um, right the way through to the road bridge uh, in Arnhem Town Centre, and all the different buildings. So yeah, the idea is myself and my, my war games colleague have been building all this in twenty mil. Yeah, six new foot or six foot table. Right then, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, is it really a bridge too far, or do you think it's doable? But anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks for your uh, time. Um, like if you like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Bye.